you are no longer allowed to eat salmon that is boring. Absolutely incredible. Don't ask me why there's so much parsley. We're gonna start off with some Yukon gold potatoes. You wanna grab some that are similar in size. So when you're cooking them, they finish at the same time. Give them a low fade, drop them into ice water, which will help with the texture and keep them fresh until you wanna cook them. We got boiling water turned into the ocean. And this is really the only opportunity you could season the actual potato. We're gonna let them go in this hot tub until they're nice and tender. So are we team clumpy mashed potatoes or nice and smooth mashed potatoes? <laughs> this is actually something people always debate. I like when they're nice and smooth, but I don't discriminate if they're clumpy. But today we're serving it as a bed to our salmon. So I'm gonna make it nice and smooth like you. When the potatoes are nice and tender like this, I'm gonna cover them with a kitchen towel and let them steam. In a saucepan, we're gonna melt out some butter. When it's nice and foamy, I'm gonna add some fresh minced garlic. Keep in mind, the pan is not too hot, so nothing's burning. Toss in a sprig of rosemary. And I'm just gonna give the butter mixture some fresh cracked black pepper. The kitchen should smell aromatic and nutty. <laughs> when the garlic gets nice and roasty, toasty, kill the heat, remove the rosemary, and I'm just gonna drizzle in some heavy cream. This looks and smells magical. If you don't have a ricer, I have a couple tips for you. I'm gonna grab the soft and delicate potato and toss it into a strainer. The grains of the strainer are not too thick and not too thin, and I'm just gonna push it down with a spatula like this. In my opinion, it's worth the work, and just the texture you get is so incredible. The heavy cream butter and garlic go in. We're gonna go in with a hefty pinch of salt, and this just might be the best mashed potatoes you've ever had. Quick little taste test. That is incredible. There is so much flavor in that mashed potatoes, I promise you. Now, another controversial debate is whether you can eat seafood with dairy. Now, I could already sense a lot of you spazzing out, but you could leave it out in your kitchen. I personally think it's fantastic. We're gonna grab the most beautiful salmon we could find, and to this, I'm gonna simply hit it with some avocado oil and just lather them up with Cajun. Today's pan of choice is gonna be a cast iron skillet, and this is gonna be great to remove the salmon and cook the rest of the sauce. For the sauce, I'm just gonna chop down an onion. We're gonna grab some cute cherry tomatoes and just give them a halfsies. Honestly, I used to be so wild in the kitchen, but now I just take my time to prep all the ingredients before I actually start cooking. Even though you're taking your time, it's still safe time. Whenever I don't feel like slicing down garlic, I like to just mash the goofy out of it. And last but not least, to make everything healthy, we need some flat leaf parsley. Just give it a chop until it's as fine as you. When the pan is nice and hot, we're gonna take the salmon skin side down and just wait to hear that sizzle. Honestly, salmon is not very complicated. Just don't overcook it and it will be nice and juicy. That's literally the only rule. Even if you burn the skin, who cares? If you have to scrape the goofy out of it, that means it's not ready to flip. And one last thing, I like to turn it on the side and get a nice little crust. We're gonna take the salmon off and let it vibe on the side. In the same pan and oils, add your onion, light pinch of salt, and get them sweaty. When the onions have softened, I'm gonna take our mashed garlic and add it in. And to this, I'm just gonna squeeze in a tiny bit of tomato paste. We're gonna hit the pan with a splash of stock, scrape down all those bits, and now we go in with our heavy cream. This is a perfect time to reseason with Cajun, and I like to grate down Parmesan cheese for flavor and thickness. This whole operation is gonna get those cherry tomatoes, baby spinach helps and get all those calories. Give this a toss and turn for the spinach to wilt down and thicken. Okay, so the salmon's gonna get added skin side down if it made it that far. And just let it bubble away for a couple minutes to absorb all that flavor. To serve, we're gonna make a bed out of the potatoes. I like to add a little bit of that sauce. And then the piece of salmon gets laid on beautifully. Finish with parsley so you're healthy. There's literally six pounds of parsley because I missed the clip. I can't speak sometimes, okay? And now we have final product. And as always, now bismillah. Amazing. An explosion of flavor. This recipe is absolutely fire.